Hey, welcome back to 65 Drums. My name is Justin. Today I'm doing a quick follow-up video to my review of this Lemon Electronic Drums 15-inch three-zone cymbal. It can be used as a crash cymbal or a ride cymbal, depending on the configuration. And that is the point of today's video. In my original review, which you can go check out if you want a more detailed overview of the pros and cons of this cymbal, I mentioned that one issue I was running into was a zone flip between the bell and the edge. When I hit right here, it triggered a bell sound, and when I hit right here, it triggered a crash sound, the edge of the cymbal. It turns out, after I published the video, that I got a lot of comments and a message saying that if I flipped an internal cable inside of the cymbal, that problem would be fixed. And so I went and tested out the fix, and it really does work, with a catch. So I'm just gonna give you a really, really short overview of how to do it. All it takes is a screwdriver, no soldering, and no real knowledge of electrical stuff is really needed to do this. So to take the cymbal apart, all you need to do is remove all the screws from around where the bell zone is and then around the edge of the plastic casing. Do not miss that one that they always hide under a sticker like I did, like an idiot. There is no glue here. It should easily come off of the cymbal. There's nothing that's really keeping it stuck in place. So after you have removed the plastic shell, what you then need to do is look for the black and red wire. That's all you gotta worry about. If you're new to electronic drum internals and this looks kind of confusing, don't worry about that. All you need to look for is the red and black cable. So here's basically how the fix works. If you want this to be a crash symbol, you have to plug the cable into the right side, all right? If the piezo is on the left, the far right little input right here is where you need to plug this internal cable to make it working correctly as a crash. If you want it working as a ride symbol in a Roland module, you'll actually unplug it from right here. So literally just unplug it, no soldering, no nothing, and then plug it into that little port right there on the left side. And now it's a ride symbol. Now you might be wondering to yourself, what happens if I don't move that internal cable? Here's what happens in both configurations. If it's uh, improperly plugged in as a ride symbol, you'll get the bell sound being a crash and the edge sound being a bell. If it's improperly plugged in and you're using it as a crash, you'll only get the bow area and the bell zone. If you hit the edge, it won't actually trigger an edge sound of that symbol. So for me, because I wanna use it as a crash symbol from now on on my drum set, I'm going to plug it on the right side and I'm gonna plug in my crash symbol cable that's going to my Roland TD30 module. I'm also gonna be plugging it into the right side. If I wanted to use it as a ride, I'd use two cables and I'd plug this cable on the left side. That's really it, it's stupid simple. And then you put the plastic casing back on and you're good to go. I'm not gonna take credit for this. Other people pointed this out to me in a message and in comments. So thank you to the people that pointed that out. Have an amazing day and hope that helped.